One of the world's largest electronic waste dumping ground is located in Agbobloshi, an urban settlement in Accra in Ghana. In October 2019, together with the UNICEF Regional Director for West and Central Africa, I visited this site to better understand the situation. Now we deal in uh, ferrous materials and non-ferrous materials. When I say non-ferrous materials, I'm talking about copper, aluminum, brass, stainless steel, lead. We also deal with, uh, you know, e-waste materials, like, uh, you know, uh, material that, you know, come from uh, these televisions, computers, and uh, mobile phones, and any other, you know, uh, you know electrical, you know, gadget. I interacted with Abena, a five-year-old girl, and her brother, Kofi, who is three years old. These two siblings often play in their lead-contaminated neighborhood, unaware of the dangers that this poses to their health and future well-being. Unfortunately, this continued exposure can seriously harm them. There's evidence that Ghanaian children that are living in such slum areas in these situations are exposed to uh, fumes from the use of the lead-acid uh, battery recycling operations and open air smelting, and why they are playing uh, or even working on the e-waste dumps. This exposure has serious adverse impact on children's health. It can damage the child's brain and nervous system. It can lead to stunted growth. It can also uh, lead to behavior challenges, as well as hearing and speech-related issues. Now, lead poisoning is totally preventable. So this is a call to action to protect the potential of every child in Ghana, including the two siblings that I met. Every child has the right to grow in a healthy and safe environment. So UNICEF would continue to work with all partners in three main areas. The first one is to continue awareness raising activities at community level on the impact of um, lead poisoning and uh, environmental pollution. The second area is to implement a lead exposure prevention program benefiting children in Agbaboshi as well as other sites that have been identified. And the third one is to build the capacity of health staff in clinics and other facilities uh, so that we can detect and treat lead poisoning uh, and therefore um, ensure the well-being of, of children and women in slum areas. Together, let's join forces to prevent and reduce the impact of lead poisoning. Let's ensure that every child in Ghana stays healthy and has a bright future.